This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your NCAA Tournament Play of the Day for Thursday, March the 16th. This is going to be a opening round matchup taking place on the Thursday NCAA Tournament slate. And we are going to look at the matchup between the Bucknell Bison, the Patriot League champions, taking on the uh, West Virginia Mountaineers. Thursday, 2.45 p.m. Eastern Time, 11.45 a.m. Pacific Time. Tip-off, West Virginia, 14-point favorite in this game, total of 147.5. And, uh, and West Virginia was a bet-against team for me down the stretch in this season. West Virginia did not finish the season good at all from a point spread perspective. Uh, in their last eight games, 1-6-1 one, and one against the number in their last eight games. Uh, and you look at West Virginia from a matchup perspective, when they beat teams and when they cover point spreads, they're doing it when they're forcing turnovers. And Bucknell has done a solid enough job limiting turnovers this season when they have the basketball uh, in their hands. And what I like about Bucknell is that they love the half-court style of basketball. They like to grind the game down to a halt, play at a very slow pace, and I think that is a pace that could frustrate West Virginia a little bit in this game. And it's going to force West Virginia, if they're not forcing turnovers, to have to make shots in a half-court set. And again, I talked about this very point about this game with uh, Jeff, BMOC, and Donnie uh, on their Selection Sunday Right Side of Campus show here at SBR Videos. I was on with them talking about this game, and I said that same point. Bucknell can slow the pace down, force West Virginia to make shots, and I'm not sure this is a good enough jump shooting team to be able to make shots. Most of their points come from transition opportunities, fast break off those turnovers that they force. Now you put West Virginia in a grinder, a methodical half court type of game, which Bucknell is going to look to do. Uh, they could be in for a tougher game than this point spread indicates, and it's worth noting Bucknell, a decent rebounding team. They've got some shooters uh, with Kimball McKenzie, junior forward Zach Thomas, the leading scorer on this team, uh, as well Nana Fowland, uh, a very good scorer as well, averaging 14.9 points per game, 7.8 rebounds per game. they got some size as well, Bucknell, and I like that. They might be able to rebound pretty decently in this game, and if they can slow this pace down, and, and the key is not turn it over. You know, if they're going to be haphazard with the basketball, and turn it over a bunch in this game, that's going to fuel West Virginia, and things could get ugly. But I tr I think Bucknell is a a an experienced enough, well-coached enough, disciplined enough team to take care of the basketball. And if they do that, they're going to have to force West Virginia to make jump shots in a half-court type of game, something they are not comfortable doing, and something they are not able to do uh, on a consistent basis. I think that's going to really... Uh, give Bucknell a chance to be competitive here uh, in this basketball game against West Virginia. Uh, I think style-wise, it's a decent one for Bucknell, presuming, again, they don't turn the ball over too much. Uh, when you look at these teams, free throw-wise, pretty even uh, for the most part. And then you look at West Virginia laying double digits. I mean, I know it was Big 12 play, but, you know, 10.5-point favorite against Texas Tech. They only win in overtime. 10.5-point favorite against Texas. They don't cover that game. Uh, so they had some tough times covering big numbers uh, late in the season, and this is a big number. You know, West Virginia is going to have to play well. West Virginia is going to have to force turnovers, and West Virginia is going to have to shoot the ball well to cover this 14-point number in this game. And I'm not convinced we're going to see any of those three things take place in this game. I, I don't know if Bucknell wins this game. Uh, because from an athlete and a depth perspective, the edge is still with West Virginia. They have a very deep bench. But the deep bench and deep rotation for Bob Huggins, that's only going to really matter more if they play on Saturday when they're playing their second game in three days and they might be a little fresher. It's not going to matter as much here on Thursday when it's just the first game of the tournament. Fatigue shouldn't be an issue at this point. I think Bucknell has enough matchup edges here to hang tough, hang within this number. So let's go ahead and make it official. I'm taking the Bison. I'm taking Bucknell plus 14. That's rotation number 719. Bucknell plus 14 against West Virginia in opening round NCAA tournament action on Thursday, March the 16th. All right, that'll wrap it up. I'm Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review. Until next time, enjoy the games and good luck.
We hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, don't miss out on the best basketball betting content available on YouTube. Click our logo button on the bottom left to subscribe. And as always, guys, give us a like and drop your comments below because we want to hear from you. Visit our website to take advantage of all our free products.